want you to be happier. I want you. No, that means I'll have to. G'day guys, my name is Dave Tran and welcome to another Guitar Zero Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson I'll be teaching you how to play Happier by Marshmallow and Bastille. Now for the basics of this song you'll need your guitar in standard tuning and you'll need a capo on the 5th fret of your guitar. Now if you want to master your chords back to front, be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to take your guitar to the next level then check out Guitar Zero to Hero Premium which is my complete step by step guitar course. Now the guitar I'm playing today is a Cole Clark Angel 2 in Blackwood, so if you want to find out more there's a link in the description below. Let's get stuck into the song and we'll start with the main chord progression, which is really nice and easy. We're going to start with an A minor chord shape, and then there's a transition chord here, so you'll notice the transition chords up in the annotations have a little star next to them. That just means that they're quite short, so they're not played for very long. So we'll have a C slash B and apply that from our A minor and we'll just lift our middle and ring finger and your middle finger comes up to the second fret of the fifth string and we'll strum from the fifth string onwards. That's C slash B, then we have a C chord, then we go to an F chord and then we have another F chord and then we're going to go to a G chord. Now we're going to play a lazy G chord like this, so ring finger on the third fret of the sixth middle finger on the 2nd fret of the 5th string. Now you should just make sure that you don't strum up to the 1st string, so just up to the 2nd string is okay, or you can just focus on the main bass notes. You can play a normal G chord like this as well, but the transition from the F to this lazy G chord shape is a little easier. Now for the start of the song we're just going to be strumming each chord once and ringing it out. There's no strumming pattern here, but we will need to follow particular timing. So each set of chords in brackets up here will indicate one full bar, so one count of four. So you'll notice that the A minor to the C slash B is within one count of four. Now you'll change chords, that C slash B will be played on the four beat. And the same thing applies to that last F to the G. You'll change chords on the last four beat. So altogether, the start of the song will sound like this. One, and two, and three, and four. And we just loop that again and again. Next we get to the chorus and this is where things pick up a little bit. So we have an all down strum strumming pattern and we're going to be strumming eighth notes. So we're strumming on the one and two and three and four and. Now the point at which you're changing chords is going to remain exactly the same so nothing changes here for the chord progression. So the chorus with the all down strumming pattern will sound like this. Now if you're a beginner and you're having problems with those transition chords and you can technically just cut them out all together, it won't sound as good but it will still do the job. So without those transition chords it will sound like this. One and Next we move on to the post chorus and we're going to pick up the energy a little bit more here as well. So we're going to implement a strumming pattern that goes down, 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 up and in succession. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Now each set of brackets will contain two strumming patterns each. But note that the transition chords are only played very shortly so this is what's going to happen. For our first A minor we'll play that for one full strumming pattern. And then for the next strumming pattern, we're going to split that in half between the A minor and the C slash B. So you will change chords on the highlighted down strum here, which goes down, 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 down. So all together, the A minor to the C slash B. Down, 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 down. And the same thing will apply for that last F to the G. So in total, the post chorus will sound like this with the energetic strumming pattern. Now 
Now again, if you're a beginner and you're having trouble with those transition chords, you can simplify it again and just have the A minor for two strumming patterns, C for two strumming patterns, and the F for four strumming patterns, which will sound like this. Now let's get to the bridge of the song and it's really nice and easy, there's just four chords here. We have an F chord, then a C chord, then a G, and then A minor. Now for the bridge, you're strumming each chord once and holding it out for four beats, so it's really nice and easy. Now that's all for the rhythm, so now I'm just going to quickly teach you the lead part that's played in the post chorus. Now all the tab that's going to be up in here will be relative to no capo. Now you can just leave your capo on and play the lead riff because it's not going to affect the lead riff at all. But for simplicity, I'm just going to take the capo off and all the tab up here is relative to no capo. So to start this main riff, we're going to use our index finger on the 10th fret of the third string. Now we're going to be plucking this three times. Now, after each time you pluck it, you do want to mute that string. Don't let it ring out like that. You do want to give it some staccato. So play it and then quickly mute it with the side of your palm just dropping onto the string. So three notes there. And then for the fourth note, we take our ring finger, 12th fret of the third string. And then we go up to the 14th fret of the third string as well. In total for the first bar. Now for the second bar, we have those first three notes again on the 10th fret. And then we're going to take our middle finger, play the 11th fret of the second string and slide it up to the 13th fret really quickly. Mute that and then go down to the 10th fret of the second string. So in total for the second bar, our third bar is exactly the same as the first bar. And then for our final and fourth bar, we'll start again with these first three notes. Then we'll go down one fret to the ninth fret, hit that, and then go to the tenth fret of the fourth string. And all together for the fourth bar. And in total for the post-chorus riff. So now I'll be playing the song in its entirety and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. So feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to, to practice, play along to, and see how you go. Lately, I've been, I've been thinking, I want you to be happier, I want you to be happier. When the morning comes, when we see what we've become, in the cold light of day we're aflame in the wind, not the fire that we've begun. Every argument, every word we can't take back Cause with all that has happened I think that we both know the way that the story ends Then only for a minute I want to change my mind Cause this just don't feel right to me I want to raise your spirit
Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to take your guitar to the next level, then check out Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course, where I teach finger style lessons, theory, and lessons that I don't teach here on YouTube. As always, if you've enjoyed this, then please hit that like button, hit subscribe, click the little notification bell as well so that you don't miss out on my updates. Please leave your thoughts, comments, questions, and requests down below, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.